This video is all about nuclease free water. We will discuss about the definition of nuclease free water and its important function. First we talk about the difference between normal, distilled and nuclease free water. So have a look. What inside the normal tap water or lab water? It's full of contaminants, minerals, fluorescent materials, live cells which are mainly bacterial or viral bodies. They have precipitates and other visible debris and importantly its pH is not suitable for DNA or RNA work. On the other side distilled water have totally different properties. The process of distilling is very simple. Heat tap water to the point that it turn to vapors. When the vapor condenses back to water it leaves behind any mineral residue. The resulting condensed liquid is distilled water. Distilled water still contains impurities, fluorescent materials, DNases and RNases. The nucleus free water is prepared by chemically or physically treatment. Nucleus free water doesn't have free ions, fluorescence particles or impurities while the distilled water may have such things. Nucleus free water is a molecular grade certified product applied in genetic and molecular genetic experiments. So now how you define nucleus free water? Nucleus free water is a molecular grade ultra pure DNAs, RNAs and proteinase free sterile water used in nucleic acid elution, dilution and PCR reaction preparation. It is also named as RNAs free water, DNAs free water, molecular grade water and PCR grade water. There are some important properties of nucleus free water. Its pH should be between 5.5 to 6.5. It should be ultra pure, sterile, or autoclaved, DNAs, RNAs, or protease free, PCR grade nuclease free water. It should be free of visible precipitate, that should be free of contamination, of course, and free of fluorescence particles, metal, or other ions, visibly clear or odorless. Now coming to the important function of nuclease free water. Ideally, all the molecular procedures in which nucleic acid like DNA or RNA is involved use only certified nuclease free water. The most common or most important function is to protect the nucleic acid from degradation by nucleases, either DNAs or RNAs. And that's why this water given the name nuclease free water. DNA can frequently be dissolved in nucleus free water depending upon the precipitate obtained an adequate volume of water should be added to the DNA. However, we can dissolve RNA as well but is ideally not recommended as it cannot prevent the stability and integrity of the RNA. In addition, nucleus free water dilutes highly concentrated DNA or RNA. We can adjust the concentration of nucleic acid as per our requirement by adding the appropriate amount of molecular grade water. One crucial ingredient of PCR reaction is nucleus free water without which a reaction doesn't complete and we cannot get good results. Besides protecting the template from DNAs in a reaction, it provides volume to the reaction, balances the reaction and supplies a constant liquid medium for every ingredient to work properly during the reaction. Molecular grade water is a powerful DNA dissolving and storing reagent. For a short period of time, DNA can be dissolved and stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius temperature in water. I always recommend it to use commercially available nucleus free water. These products are ready to use crystal clear, certified nucleus free, molecular grade and ultra pure. But we can also prepare in the lab according to our experimental need. Just for knowledge, I am sharing with you the protocol of nucleus free water preparation. Add 0.1% Depsy in 1000 ml in double distilled water and then allow it to react at room temperature. After some time, autoclave it and use or store it as a nucleus free water. Here is a point to should be noted that the commercially available molecular grade water is prepared by ultrafiltration not by chemical treatment, thus it is more trusted. Ultra filtration removes DNAs and RNAs effectively. The ultimate goal of nucleic acid extraction 
is to get a pure and high yield product. Contaminated DNA fails PCR sequencing and other assays, whereas contaminated RNA results in an abrupt gene expression profile. So the purity and yield of the final extract should be assessed by using various techniques before sending it for amplification or hybridization. Nuclease-free water is a crucial ingredient much like the others. It inactivates any nuclease present and protects our precious nucleic acid from degradation. I hope this video helps students to understand why we use such different processed water in molecular biology. So this is the end of the video. Hope you like it. Thank you for listening. For more conceptual videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel and give thumbs up, share if you like this video. Stay tuned. Take care.